hello okay so this is um me about to walk into macy's i have a really bad king of sore on my tongue so i'm talking really weird but i have like there's a whole story to why i'm at macy's right now back in may i was shopping here at macy's for an outfit for an interview and when i was in the dressing room i stepped on one of those sensor tags i'll put a picture here I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but it went into my toe and so I went outside and I was already in a rush I was like, can I just please have a band-aid and they're like, yeah, are you okay? And I was like, well, yeah, this thing went in my toe and then they like made a huge deal about it made me write my information down, which I totally get because like I could have like sued them if I wanted to, you know, um, but I did I was like, I'm not gonna like sue you guys Like I really like I'm in a rush. I don't have time to fill out all this paperwork. I need to go so then they're like, okay, um, okay, so they got my name, number, and address. Then maybe, I don't know, like a couple, like two or three weeks later, I got a phone call from, it was just like, hi, this is blah, 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 with the Macy's support team or something I don't know and they're like we wanted to apologize for the experience that you had in the Macy store um, and we would like to offer you a $150 gift card um, is that okay I was just like yes that is okay thank you I will accept that <laughs> um, it took maybe a month or two to get there I honestly forgot about it and then um, I kept forgetting about it and then one day I was like oh I have like I have nothing to do today so I came here to Macy's and the our Macy's has a Macy's backstage which is kind of like a Ross um, yeah so I came in and I found so much stuff I came like the perfect day everything was on sale I had probably 30 items in my cart and she goes to <clears throat> put the gift card in and she's like huh, it's saying that there's no balance on here. And I was just like, could you try it again? Because that doesn't make literally any sense. She's like, yeah, sure. So she tried it again. And she's like, yeah, sorry, it says there's no money on here. And I was just like, what? And I was like, okay, can I talk to a manager, please? So I talked to a manager. I told the lady everything that happened. And I was like, <clears throat> I was like, is there a way you could look up to see, like, was there ever actually money on the card or what? And so she looked it up and she said, pretty much someone got a bunch of gift card numbers and loaded them all onto one gift card totaling like $500 or something. And then they went to a Macy's in New York and spent it on Estee Lauder products. And the day I went in, I like wasn't wearing any makeup like this is me with the most makeup I'll ever wear well that's not true but this is me normal do you think this face uses Estee louder I like when she asked me she's like do you use this product I was just like no I don't I don't use that um she's like I'm sorry there's nothing we can do about it here in store you'll have to contact this come this um side of Macy's so I emailed them and I waited a week didn't hear back from them so I went to rewrite them in like a nasty email I was gonna like chew them out I had some words to say to them and then it turns out I typed in the wrong email address somehow so then I was like dang it so then I re I sent them I sent the correct email address in email waited another week didn't hear back from them and then I found a phone number online and I called them and they're like, oh, it looks like no one actually, like, processed your claim. And I was just like, I'm sorry, I've been waiting for, like, two months for this gift card. And you're telling me it's because no one processed the claim? So then I got really upset. And I was like, I need you guys to do something really fast about this. Like, I'm tired of waiting. Um, I was like, you guys should be lucky that I didn't even sue you guys. I freaking had a needle go in my toe in your dressing room. And I'm settling for a $150 gift card. And they're like, we're so sorry, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, we will have to give you a phone call um, once it's done. And I was like, th I think this was the week before we left for Europe. And I was like, okay, well, the thing is, I'm not going to have a phone for a month because I'm going to be out of the country for a month. So 
I'm not really sure like is that going to impede pretty long story short I, I had a missed phone call from a blocked number um, which when they when the the gift card people called me it was a blocked number so I knew it was them but I had no way of calling them back because it was a blocked number so then I was like I'm gonna have to go through this whole thing again when we get back so we came back from Europe I was going through our mail and lo and behold I had another Macy's gift card waiting for me and it still it only had $150 on it again which like I'm cool with it but like for everything that their disaster of a claims support anyways I came here um two days ago I think and they had they just didn't have a lot of good stuff but they get new shipments every like Tuesday and Thursday I think and I came Thursday morning so I'm hoping that maybe they have some better stuff and um, I'm also going to check like upstairs in the actual Macy's not just the Macy's backstage I did buy some stuff when I came on Thursday but I didn't vlog it at all so pretty much I'm just telling you guys the story and then later on, I'm going to show you everything I bought with my settlement gift card. Here we go. You guys have already heard the backstory and everything of why I had this Macy's gift card. And now, I'm just going to show you what I bought with the gift card. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this like earlier on in the video, but... I went to Macy's on Wednesday, I think. I was really sad because I had high expectations, only because when I went to use my Macy's gift card the first time, I found so much stuff. I had probably 20 or 30 items in my cart, which like you cannot do at Macy's. You can't get 20 items for $150. So I was kind of sad, but it's okay because this is literally free money that I'm able to spend so I can't like I, I shouldn't be you, you know what I mean so I didn't get as much stuff as I would have gotten last time but I did still get some really cool stuff I'm just gonna pull from the bags no specific order so this thing I already took out of the case plug it into the cigarette lighter thing and then it um there's a thing in the front that you can plug your USB into as well but I really like this just because the, my phone is down here instead of like in the middle of my windshield because I'm short and I already have a lot of problems seeing everything out of my window. So this is nice that it's like down below and really like out of my way. So this is actually a really good purchase and this was only $10 so that was cool. Next, I got this cute little um, monkey um, dog toy. I got this as a Christmas gift for one of my friends who has a dog. Um, I just saw it and it's really cute and I like instantly thought of them so I decided to get it. And this was only $5 so also great deal. Next I got this um, army t-shirt, not t-shirt, tank top. It's got a cute little pocket. And this was on sale for ten dollars, or sorry, five dollars. I really liked like the colors of this. I like how it's not like super green. It's like more blue than than green, if that makes sense. Yeah, I really liked it, and it was on sale, so I got it. Next, I got this really cute purse. It's just a little black purse with um. I don't know if you can see. It's got like little um, leopard or cheetah print um, chain handle and then you just open it and it's pretty big on the inside. I can fit my phone in here which is really like the most important thing but the reason I got this, um, this was $25. The reason I got this was because whenever we go to weddings or like something like a fancy event, I never have like a fancy purse. So then usually I just end up carrying my phone around, but then I always like, I'm like annoyed that I'm carrying my phone. So 
I got this. I thought it was like really nice and sleek and it's black so it will match pretty much any anything that I wear. Next, I got the cutest pair of shoes. They are these really cute leopard boots. Um, these were also $25, I think. The only boots I have are black boots and I just bought a pair of light brown boots. But sometimes, like, I just need something more. Like, when I'm wearing all black, these would be really cute or something. They had a really, really, really cute pair of snakeskin boots. And normally, like, I'm not really a snakeskin kind of girl. But when I saw those, I was like, I need those. But they didn't have my size. So that was sad, but it's okay. Next, I got these earrings. They're just, um, kind of sparkly and brown. I really, really liked these. I'm just a sucker for hoop earrings, especially like different kinds of hoop earrings. Because when you have your hair up like in a messy bun or something, like there's no better way than to make yourself look fancier than by just throwing on a pair of hoop earrings. It's so nice. Next, I got this really cute cardigan, which I am in love with. And I'm really glad I found this. So all of the stuff you saw before this was from Macy's Backstage. And these next couple of things you're seeing is from just like the regular Macy's store. But when I went today, they had everything was 50% off in like their fall section. Um, and I have been telling myself that I need to buy more cardigans because I have like a black and gray one. I have like three black ones and then I have a gray and white one and then a white one. But I only wear the black one. So I was like, you need to get more cardigans. This is so cute. It's so soft, you guys. So soft, so cozy. And this is just like the perfect fall color. I literally could just wear this outfit right now with my leopard boots. And it's so cute. So, this was normally $50. And I got it for $25. And a nice chunky cardigan like this for $25 is like... Love that. Next up, I got this. This is just like such a me piece of clothing. When I saw it, I was like, I need that. Are you kidding me? Um, I think these are actually all from the same brand, which is kind of funny. But it's just like this really cute um, like hoodie, I guess you could say. It does have a hood on it. Um, and it's got blue and yellow and red strings in it. So it's just, it's really fun. And the material, like, it's really thick, but it's also, like, really stretchy and breathable. So I think this will be nice because it's not, like, too warm, but it's still warm enough to where I wouldn't have to wear another jacket. So this was normally 44 and I got it for 22 So that was cool. Then I got these, which I'm really excited to show Peter these because I'm, I'm just excited. I got some pant overalls, if that's what they're called. They're just black jean overalls. And um, these were, these are originally $50 and I got them for $25. Which I feel like even, honestly, even $50 is a good price for these. But to find a pair of jean overalls, like long jean overalls, they're normally like $75 or $100. It's ridiculous. So I tried these on and also... Also, my body is like, my legs are, are normal length, but my torso is really short. So I always have a hard time finding like rompers or something like this that actually looks good on my body. I tried these on. They fit like a glove. They're so cute. I'm just very excited about it. So you guys will probably see me wearing these a lot in, in my videos. So that is everything I got for $150 at Macy's. Um, if you guys like these kinds of haul videos, let me know. I do buy stuff a lot. Well, not a lot, but enough to where I could make more videos like this for you guys if you enjoyed them. So please like it or comment down below to let me know that you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you guys back here next Friday.